Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priyanka. I am working as a consultant in Garbagudi Electronics City and I am here to tell you about pregnancy tests. Very common tests, many of you would have done, but there are some small things which you must keep in mind when you do a pregnancy test. So what exactly is a pregnancy test? So basically a pregnancy test detects HCG hormone level in your blood. Okay, so that can be either detected by doing either a blood test or a urine test. So what we normally do at home or in the urine pregnancy test kit is analyzing the urine levels of HCG. So what points you should keep in mind when you are doing a pregnancy test? First and foremost, you should have missed a period because as I said, it is measuring the level of HCG in your blood. And when will HCG come in blood? once the pregnancy has attached into your endometrial lining and then the placenta starts to grow and that produces the HCG hormone. So you should have missed your period for about 6 to 10 days and then when you do a pregnancy test with the urine kit at home, then it can come positive. Then uh, what other thing you must keep in mind is uh, it's always better to do it in the first urine sample. So first urine which you pass in the morning there you should analyze. Don't put too much of urine into it. Take a clean container, uh, take, uh, collect urine in that and take only a few drops. So we must read the instructions which are written in the leaflet provided and take only the recommended number of drops and put in. Now, when do we test it? Do we immediately check? No, we must wait for around two to three minutes. And again, you should not wait more than that because beyond 10 minutes, the sample gets dried up and again we can get a wrong result. So you must see the results within 2-3 to three minutes. The other thing, you should not put too much of sample, not too little of sample. And if you've had too much of water just before taking the test, your urine sample gets diluted and you'll not get a correct result. So keep these things in mind when you're doing the pregnancy test. Then um, many times patients ask, I did a pregnancy test, it came positive. But when they come to us for scan, there is no pregnancy or immediately afterwards they start getting bleeding. What would be the reason? So two uh, other things which you must keep in mind. One thing is you missed a period around 7 to 10 days. Test is positive. You don't have any risk factors. You must consult the physician or your uh, nearest uh, doctor or gynecologist within the next uh, one week or 10 days time. If you have pain, or any brownish discharge which you are noticing, then you must consult your gynecologist immediately. Then sometimes there may be a pregnancy which has just happened and then it gets lost. I mean, an early miscarriage happened. Even in those cases, initially it may come positive and when we see on scan, by then the period starts and the pregnancy is lost. So in those cases, again, you will get a positive test, but uh, pregnancy may not be there. The other thing which you must keep in mind is about ectopic pregnancies. That is pregnancy not sitting in the womb, but it is sitting in the tubes. Even there, the pregnancy test can come positive. So that's why I said when you get pelvic pain, like when you are getting abdominal cramps, or if you notice spotting, then you must consult your gynecologist. Sometimes it may come negative also. So in such cases, if you still not got your periods, you can repeat the test after a few days and check again. Sometimes it may come positive because we need a particular value of HCG. Only beyond that, the test will come positive. Okay, so we must check the levels again. And the other confirmatory way of checking a pregnancy would be analyzing the HCG levels in blood, which is very accurate and it can give you results even before you have missed your period. So within 14 to 15 days of ovulation also, we can analyze in the blood levels, the HCG values, and that can also give a positive result. So keep these points in mind and hope this clarifies all your doubts about pregnancy test. Thank you.